Hello, and in this video, we're going to be adding the subtle or the slider portion to this uh, subtle pen uh, ink cartridge. Uh, to do this, I'm going to start by making a new plane. So I'm going to hit plane. I'm going to turn to this back. So we click on that back flat face. And we're going to go 0.01 behind it. So 0.01, it's going to be very close. 0.01 behind it. So right now, you can see it's behind it. So it's right direction. Hit enter. It's going to bring it in a lot closer, and that's going to place it where I need it. Uh, then I'm going to just start a sketch on plane on that plane we just created. Oh, the X sketch. It's easy. It's just you click on plane three over here on the uh, column, and we're going to just sketch a circle. Uh, this circle is going to be 0.05 uh, in diameter. So you can change your view, or you can just make sure you get that center box, and we want it to be 0 0.05 in diameter. Uh, then that circle is going to be able to extend into our uh, ink cartridge we already have. So I'm going to hit my green check to accept and extrude. And we're going to go into, so we're going to flip direction. We do want a new item, so make sure you're new. And we want to go into that pen about 0.25 or a quarter of an inch. So 0.25. Hit our green check to accept, and that has it going into the pen. Uh, next, we're going to start a sketch on that same surface we already have. So you can hit plane 3, you can click the back of your object, either way it works. Uh, and I'm actually going to turn my view to, uh, we can stay on the same view actually. We'll go, but we'll look directly at it. Uh, this time we're going to make a box uh, rectangle. So I'm going to just make an overall rectangle and we're dimensioning to place it where we want. Uh, so I'm going to start somewhere below where it's not constrained anywhere. I'm going to start somewhere below it and I'm going to end somewhere above. Uh, overall dimensions on the bottom is going to be 0.115, enter, and then 0 0.082 going vertically, 0 0.082, enter. Uh, then we have to locate where it's at, so from the center tip to my base, oops, I didn't mean to make a line, go back, from hit dimension, and from my center tip to my bottom line, it's going to be 0 0.028. Then also from my center tip to either side, so I'm just going to go to one of the outsides, but we're just going to take that 0.115 and divide it by 2. So that's going to help center that object. Uh, so now that we got it centered, it's fully constrained. We can hit our green check to accept, and we're going to extrude. Uh, we're going to hit sketch 6, so we extrude that shape we just made, and it's going back the correct direction we want it to go. And we want to extrude it 0.825 inches, so 0.825. So that gives us that main base of our clicker slider portion. So I'll green check to accept. Uh, then if we look at the slider closely, you can see in the back it's got this uh, chafer on it. It's not going to be a flat box on the end, so we're going to add in that chafer. Uh, so I'm going to click that top edge, or the, the bottom edge you may say. And they're not equal distances, so we're going to have two distances. Uh, the first one I'm going to make 0.125, and then the second one I'm going to make 1.5. Uh, in this case, it uh, changed to our side view, to an ISO view, so we can see a little bit better on what's going on with it. And in this case, it looks like it did it opposite of how we want it. Uh, looks like I put my decimal in the wrong place, so it's not going to give me the correct values, definitely. Uh, there we go. If it goes incorrectly, you can change that by selecting our arrow. So if you have the wrong way and you need to go back farther or you need to go back less, uh, you can use that arrow to change your values there. But that gives us that chain feel on it. Uh, next, we're going to sketch in the bottom portion. So right now we did that upper portion and then the bottom portion where that big handle where the slider goes, uh, we need to do as well. So I'm going to sketch. Uh, you can select plane 3 or this flat face we just did. And I'm going to go directly on my right view and zoom in. Uh, we have our pen kind of in the way, so I'm just going to come down here and hide those. So hide the tip, hide the cartridge, and now we're just looking at the slider. Uh, and this time I'm going to use some lines to help me make this shape, or we do a rectangle and trim off one edge. Either way, uh, up to you exactly how you want to do it. So it's going to be... Uh, 0.24 inches across, so I'm going to go straight across, uh, 0.24 inches, and then we need 0.85 as our radius. Uh, so to do this, I'm just going to make sure I'm on that line, I go straight across, and I want it to be a distance of 0.24. 
Uh, then I want to go down. So I'm going to go straight down. A distance of 0 0.084. And it went, I don't know what it did there. Oh, it made a rectangle. I didn't, that wasn't on the line tool. Uh, so we want a line tool. And we're going to go straight down. 0 0.084. And I'm going to hit escape and do another line. Same side, same thing on the opposite side. Again, we want to make sure it's perpendicular. 0 0.084. Going straight down. Uh, and then we're going to connect it with an arch. Uh, so I'm going to arc, three point arc between it. Arc one, arc two. And I want a radius of 0.35 for my radius. Uh, finally, we got to center it so we can dimension uh, from one end to our center line. And we want that to be half of our distance, which is going to be 0.12. And that centers it for us. So a green check to accept. And then again, we want to extrude. I click our sketch 7, and we can extrude that back. And it's going the opposite direction, so we got to change direction. And we want to extrude it back a distance of 0.7, it looks like. So 0.7. It doesn't go quite the full distance. It will add in that rounded ball to the back of this. So uh, 0.7 in this case. Hit our green check to accept. And that gives us that back edge to begin. Uh, next, we want to add in on the top. There's some uh, features that stick out. So we want to add in those features. So I'm going to sketch, so I'm going to select that top surface. I'll turn to a top view so we can see what's going on. And we're going to select the rectangle tool. I want to start from that top corner, go down and over, and click. And it's going to come in 0.2 for this first box. Uh, then I'm going to do another rectangle. I don't want to start at the midpoint. I just want to start on this line, and we'll locate it afterwards. And then we want to bring it across over the other line. And this one's going to be 0.175, it looks like. Uh, then we want to dimension between our two boxes. It's going to have 0.1 inch between. And it, we were very close to where we needed it to, but now we got it exactly 0.1. Uh, so once we do that, hit our green check to accept. And then we'll extrude. I click inside the two boxes we just sketched, a distance of 0 0.05. Uh, we want to make sure that it comes up. So I'm going to go ISO so you can see it's coming up. And that gives us that distance we want. Uh, next, we're going to chamfer the edges. Uh, so again, chamfer the edges. And we just want the outer edges of each one of these uh, boxes we just created. So just the outer edges. We're going to set the value as 0 0.05 for each. And you can see it comes to that uh, kind of tippy point there. Uh, so that's what we're looking for on those. Uh, then we want to do this uh, similar process on the edge. And we're going to do that by sketching. So we're going to sketch from the side, and we're going to sketch in these triangular boxes. So I'm going to sketch, I'm going to make a line, and go from my end point to my midpoint. Right now it's not giving me a midpoint, so I'm going to hit escape, and I'm going to project those midpoints. So I'm going to get that midpoint, and I want to get this midpoint. You could do the whole line as well, that would work too, uh, but in this case I'm just going to start with just the midpoint. So I'm going to go from that corner to my midpoint. And then from my midpoint, back to my other corner. Uh, then we can go up and to the corner. We can go all the way across or just to the midpoint. And then we can go across and then close this object back down. Same thing on the other side. So again, corner to your midpoint. Uh, midpoint back to the other corner. And then we can close off that shape as well. So close off that top, keep that corner. To that midpoint, midpoint to the corner, corner back down. And that closes up. We missed up on that last one. Undo that last one and go up from the one below before we messed up. So from that midpoint to the outer edge and from the outer edge straight down. Uh, so now we want to just extrude. So hit finish our sketch, extrude, remove. And we want to remove uh, these portions. So I'm going to hit Merge Scope. I'm going to hit the blue portion. Uh, and then I have to tell it what to remove. So I want to hit the little triangles we made on the top. Those four triangles. And hit, it's just going through one inch. That's going to go more than enough. So that's going to give us what we need. Uh, so that makes that kind of pointy tip we're looking for on uh, those objects. Uh, so next, what we want to do is now that we've extruded this uh, top portion, and we chamfer those edges. 
Uh, now we need to come down and uh, make a plane below this base. So we need to make this plane down. I start with a plane. I'm going to hit on this base and I want to go all the way down, which is going to be 0 0.084 inches down. And it's going up, so I want it going down and hit our green check to accept. Uh, then we're going to sketch on that plane. So I'm going to turn to my bottom view so I can uh, select that plane. So plane 4. And I'm going to look straight at it from the bottom. Uh, from that bottom, I'm going to add in a circle. I'm going to make sure it starts on my midpoint line. Uh, as long as you're on that midline and that's the only constraint you have, that's good. Uh, then we'll make our circle. And I'm going to use my tangent constraint. So tangent, I want it circle and then it tangent to the outside edge. And then my circle and tangent to another outside edge. Uh, once I do that, I can hit my green check to accept. And then I'm going to revolve. And it's not going to be a full revolve. Uh, it's going to be a revolve around two axes. Uh, and in order to do a revolve, I need to add in a line cutting across my circle. So I'm just going to make a line going from one end to the other end. Uh, hit our green check to accept. And now I'm going to hit revolve. I'm going to select that semicircle. My revolve axis is going to be on this edge. Uh, when we do that, you can see it makes a circle and it goes all the way around. Uh, this whole object and it sticks out on this back side up here. Uh, we don't want it sticking out on that back side. We could keep it like that, but in order to make it look a little nicer, we're going to go in two, two directions instead. And I'm just going to change to on my front view and we want it to extend up past that edge. And on this one, we want it to extend down into our object. Uh, we don't want it going too far so that we don't. Uh, make the object appear where we don't need it. Hit our green check to accept and that gives us uh, what we're looking for, that slidey top we're looking for. Uh, next I'm going to go back to my ISO view and we're going to add in a new one in this plane. I'm going to hit plane. I'm going to hit on the front and I'm just going to put it very close to it. It's going to be 0.038 in front of it. Uh, so it's going to come very close in front of it. You can barely tell it's in front of it. I wouldn't use this to do the little grippers that are on the tip of that. The, of the slider to keep it inside the ink cartridge. So I'm going to select a sketch. I'm going to select plane 5. And I'm just going to go straight on that front view. Uh, for this I'm just going to sketch a rectangle. So I'm going to select a rectangle. I'm going to zoom in. And we want to center this uh, rectangle around this line. So I'll, we can do a center point rectangle. That way our center is on that line. Uh, we want it going 0 0.025 in both directions. 0 0.025 by 0 0.025. So we're making a square. Uh, and we're going to dimension it, dimension from the base uh, to the first edge is going to be 0 0.065. So we're close to what needed to be, it slides over just a little bit. Uh, from there we're going to do an extreme. Uh, so this time it's going to be adding and it's going to be extruding and it's going to be up to the face. Uh, so we're not going to go all the way uh, around. We're going to select up to the face. Uh, we'll turn our objects so you can kind of see what's going on. And we want it going up to the face. And then we have to tell it what face to go to, which is going to be that face of extrusion 3. Right now it's going the wrong direction. We want it going back into that object. And once we have that, that gives us what we want. Uh, hit our green check to accept. We could do an offset of 0.013, but it's just going to go in that same one case. Uh, then we're going to chain through those edges. Uh, all four edges, we we'll select each of the edges, it doesn't like it because it's too big right now, and we'll change that value to 0 0.013 as well. Uh, that should bring us to a point, but not 0 0.0125, and it brings us to a point. Uh, so we go 0 0.0125 on these, that way it comes to a point. I hit our green check to accept, and then we want to mirror this so it goes on the other side as well. So I'm going to go mirror. I'm going to select my extrusion and my chain first. And oops, I got to change it to a feature. I'm going to select my extrusion and my chain first. And my mirror plane is going to be that front plane. So I don't want plane 5, I want that front plane. And it mirrors it around that front plane. Hit our green check to accept. And we finished making our slider piece. Uh, you can change the color right now if you want. We're going to show you how to change your color for your different uh, cartridges. Uh, so I'm just going to rename this slider, and we'll change our colors in our next video. Uh, hopefully this helps you to create this uh, slider top. Thank you, and good luck.